Next question is 37th. What you work for? Is that for work satisfaction or for money? I know that many will work for money. An obvious question, an obvious answer to an obvious question. And some will work for work satisfaction. But give nice justification, a balanced view for whatever the answer which you have thought of. How Naveen does it is, this question is a little sensitive, sir, because I need both. I need my work satisfaction and also correct identification of it. When I have work satisfaction but not earning, then I cannot take it easily. And though I have good earning and I don't have work satisfaction, even then I can't take up the work. So I need both in my life. Well said. Bravo Navi. 38. Do you have any consideration in not working with some of the people? Any uh, restrictions? Any kind of an innovation? This type of question is to know about your working environment and how easily you will be moving on with different kind of people. So answer according to your own consideration if you have. For example, Naveen. No, I don't have any such consideration. Saying that I will not be able to work with such kind of people or such state people. I am an easy going guy. I will not have any discrepancies with any of the persons of any nature. Person religion or region or any other aspect does not bother me. So I don't think I will have any kind of an issue with any people that I work with. 49. If I go and ask a feedback of yours to your juniors, what would they say? They will like you or fear of you? Now this is purely how you see yourself is a different thing than how you see that others see you. Right, and how Naveen sees is sure you will get a good feedback from many. I would be mostly liked by many and respected more than fear. They will be seeing a good person to interact with most of the time instead of fear. So, how well balanced you know he has given this, this answer, uh, keeping both the things uh, you know in place. 40th is do you have any idea on service to customer? So a uh, question which is of customer interaction. Customer service is the other main important thing a candidate should have to work in projects. So this is an important question to know about the candidate's way of speaking to customer. For example, customer service is very important for those who handle multinational clients in their organizations as yours. I can handle such situations politely as I also consider that customer service is not a department, it's everyone's responsibility. How many of you are aware of such an answer? I don't know. Naveen, I like you. 41 will be, describe about any of the best ideas that are being discussed and implemented by all of you. So it's now about idea and implementation of the team. These types of questions are to know about your way of implementing or getting things done, uh, which you have meant for which you have, you always wanted to do it, right? So, Naveen has his own version. In my college, we don't used to have a bridge-like thing between students and management. No proper interaction and no proper communication. There even used to be not even some idea acceptance methodology. So, we in our college formed up as a team, like clubs, and started collecting up groups of idea from students who used to consider the advantages and disadvantages of each one. And the best ideations used to go to the management level are for approval, which the club members used to do it every now and then. I think this is the best idea which I have implemented and was very successful. This is still running in a college with new club members. So some something that I have initiated, which was not done, which was out of my comfort, I think I keep it very, very high of one of my best efforts that I've put in. 42 will be, are you multitasking person who would not like to be? Explanation to this question internally means to know about you when in a team and when you will be handled with more than one task at a time to complete. How will you handle such situations? Naveen has an answer. I am a multitasking person. There are many situations where I can prove myself. A small thing 
which I consider as priority of things. If I want the second task to complete faster, then I'll have to keep my first task aside. Complete my second task and then come back to my first task and complete it. This way I handled my multitask. So getting focused and talking about one thing at a time and completing, maybe handling two, but doing one at a time without losing the focus of the other, but justifying, concentrating, focusing and detailing one at a time and still be able to keep the focus on the other. What a way to answer. 43rd will be how will you plan a day? What all the dealings you have in a day and priorities assigned to them? So it's it's basically, uh, as I already told you, there is a possibility that, that uh, such questions will be arising only from your own words. So explain the way your day is planned because somewhere uh, before you might have uttered something. So just keeping that in your mind, just explain the same planning. How Naveen fared was in this manner. In this morning, I will definitely took a note of all the important tasks that I have to complete for the day and also which can be completed maybe later on. Uh, this way, I assign priorities to all my deals and by the end of the day, I will cross check the high priority things which had to complete by the end of the day and complete it or not. This will also help me in remembering the things often. So uh, I think he was very, very clever to uh, prioritize things, know what is urgent for the day and what is important for the day and ensure monitor, monitoring that he has completed or not is clearly, clearly visible with the answer. Did you go through the role of a leader anytime? This type of question is to know about your leadership skills outright. How good you were in that? So Naveen was a leader, born leader. Oh yes, I have been as a leader for many events at a college. Some of them are technical fest, cultural fest in my department, college, anniversary, celebration and many such events. Whenever I organize, I consider of only one thing, I'll get things done by them. Other than this, I do nothing. So I make such environment, they will start showing up their own talent into the work and I will definitely guide them if they need any help of any kind. Again, mastering the man management, mastering the resources, mastering the time is something which comes over a period of time and unless practice, it will never come. So how honest, how, uh, you know, subtly or lucidly he was able to explain that he was a born leader. 45th, will you be able to adapt to the new technologies which we ask you and even train you in that? Now, this is such a question which most of the industries wanted to know for. Because though you get trained in one technology, there may be a situation where they need urgency in other technology as well, simultaneously or maybe outrightly. So they will train some of the candidates for that new technology. Tell what is possible for you to do. If you have done it, if you are flexible, adaptable, open to new learning, I think you should have an answer as Naveen did. Yes, I can learn new technologies when I need, but I will make sure that I will work with such a technology in which I am good and best than others because it's the bottom line is company and if I am into it, I want to ensure it doing it my best. 46. How do you motivate your teammates or any people? Can you give an example of the same? So if you have been a motivator, right, inspiring others, this is question to check that. Navin has it, so he gives it. I keep motivating myself and I also help my mates in that. I keep people inspiring uh, around me when they get disappointed in any things. I am there to motivate them. Uh, with some of the live example in outside world, one of the best I did is one girl used to be there in my college named Gitika. She had very good voice, she sings amazingly, but she has a lot of stage fear. I motivated her in one of her college audition to participate. She tried on that day. It was her first song on stage. I was so happy for that. She is now practicing music in Delhi Music Academy. The same happened with some other boy. We have confusion with his career and he don't know what he has to do in future. So. I did only one thing, I explained all those uh, good and bad of the paths 
that he would like to undertake. Then he took his own decision and now he is working with NMHC.